Hello and welcome at this series about Sidecore Basics. In this video we are going to look at the Component Toolbox. So the Component Toolbox is accessible via the Experience Editor. And when you have a page open in the Experience Editor you can click on a component, for example the image component that I have here, and you can see that a toolbox appears. Now based on the purpose of the component you will see different options and these are configurable so if you're going to build a component or if your developers has built components you can determine what to do here but it's a good practice to add little buttons here that help you modify the content of the component. So on this image component you can see that I have some options to choose an image to modify the current image or remove it and when I select this component which is a rich text component you can see that I have some different options here for rich text editing. Now a few things that are always there are the personalization uh, option or the content test or a B test option you can see them here and when I select this one you can see them here as well something about the workflow status um, and you will see some options here that will be covered in another video um, but these are some options that you can use to work with the related item which contains the content um, in a different way. Now one thing to keep in mind is that when you select an image you will see the toolbox that is about the content but if you click this little icon here you can see the hierarchy of how it's stored on the page. So this component is stored in column 22, which is a placeholder, and then you will have the image component itself. And if I select this one, you can see that now the outer part of the component is selected and I have some other options here. So when you are going to, for example, move a component from this place to here, which can be done by selecting this outer part of the component and clicking this button then I can choose to move it here. Um, you can see that I only have this option when I have the outer part of the component selected. So if I'm going to select the rich text component I don't have that option but I can click this left part of this button or the icon here and choose rich text. So let me click this one and now I have the outer part selected and I have this option available but I have also the possibility to drag and drop it on this piece um, place on the page. Now another thing that will be covered in the next video are the component properties but they are under the more button and they are also uh, only accessible when you have the outer part of the component selected. So keep in mind when you're working with components and you need to change something about the behavior once you, once you select it once you will see the, uh, the buttons that are related to the content inside the component, when you select it twice via this button, you will get the outer part which contains different options.